from. Mm, boxing. Finally, oh, look. Hey everyone, welcome back to the New York City vlog. It's been a minute. I took last weekend off. Don't worry, you didn't miss that much. It was raining, ugh. and um, I just took a couple of nice days spent off camera, which is always good to take a break. But I'm back, and um, the start of this vlog is actually quite exciting. I happen to be partnering up with the clothing label Express, and uh, a little clue as to what we're doing with them today is in the background. Partnering with them on their Style for Work campaign, which is all about rewriting the rules of dressing for the job. And I have put together a very nice selection of pieces. I actually put together around three outfits with my $500 budget, which I'm very grateful for and I'm excited to show you what I got a little sneak peek strappy shoes Ooh, a little bit of gingham I've basically picked some essentials that I feel like would work really well for a casual workwear wardrobe but even if you work in a super corporate environment there's definitely going to be pieces in there I feel like you guys can pull from and add to that type of wardrobe in my outfits I also kept in mind sort of going from day to night from the office to happy hour I wanted them to be really versatile in that respect and kind of just like some essential pieces that I think would work really well in any kind of wardrobe. So I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into trying stuff on. Outfit number one, not far off of what I would wear on a regular day if I'm just going into Manhattan and I wanna look smart for a meeting, things like that. Cannot go wrong with a pair of off-white trousers like these. Super comfortable, sort of mid to high rise length, straight leg, which is very flattering on my body frame and I've just paired it with some black court shoes from my own closet and this little express satin top. I love this one, it's not too shiny. And I think the colors are lovely for this like transitional period. The gold and the navy really work well together. And I've just kind of done the half tuck. You can obviously style it however you want, but you know me, I always add like a laid back element to all of my outfits. And I think it's quite like a cool way to style style the shirt, you know, it still shows off some of the trouser underneath as well. So that is outfit number one. Next up is my jeans and a nice top category. Express have so many nice options for this type of outfit. For me, I went for this sort of almost like evergreeny blouse and I absolutely love it. I have a couple of pieces in my wardrobe that are this type of green and I think it works with my skin tone really well so that's why I picked it. And I also like that it sort of has an almost a vintage -y fit to it. It has this sort of more fitted band, a blousier top which makes it really comfortable but then it's kind of stretchy at the back so there is a little bit of wiggle room in terms of it just fitting. And then I paired it with these sort of dark wash grey undertone type jeans and some really really fun shoes. I feel like Carrie would approve of these shoes and um, they're just add a little bit of a fun element they're gingham they're ruffly they're very very comfortable they're sort of mules and I think mules are a really great work option in general they do tend to be on the comfier side and I think it just breaks up the look a little bit and adds a little extra element of interest but I think the top is really good a blouse is always a good option for a work environment so you could also wear this outfit on the weekend fans of a good hair tuck I hope you appreciate this look for this look I really wanted to mix elements of corporate wear and also more of a dressier nighttime look so I love this look it's definitely inspired by my gal TJ who is amazing at androgynous dressing so I took a lot of inspiration from her for this look even though it's contrary to what a lot of people say about not mixing brown blacks and navies I actually love how black and navy goes together I think it's such a chic combo for my navy piece I have this blazer that I sized up two sizes in from my regular sort of t-shirt size so I went for a US size 8 just to have it a bit more of a looser fit have a bit more room in the shoulder and underneath I just popped a little white t-shirt because you know me even when I get dressed up I do like to have a casual element to all of my outfits it just brings it back a little bit because we are wearing quite a dramatic little piece down here it's the express satin black skirt and I definitely recommend you getting your hands on this piece even if you lay them under knitwear they're really versatile as well that's another office look that you can wear if you're not feeling the blazer and I also wore the little express strappy heels underneath which I think are gorgeous they're sort of a faux leather for me the heels are something that I would bring with me for a really quick change after work just to get you from like the office to date night or drinks with your friends and I think it's my favorite outfit of the three let me know if you agree 
I'm happy with how that turned out. I think everything came out pretty well. Super fun kind of putting those bits together for the Express Style for Work campaign. Don't forget, you can obviously shop all of the pieces if they're sold out. I will link similar if I can, but they'll all be in the description below. And I'll also pop on screen my unique discount code for Express for 15% off both online and in store. So if you're near an Express store, super handy that you can use that there as well. There's one in Manhattan and Soho and a nice way to start off the vlog. And now I guess we're gonna continue with the rest of our day. Look, blue skies. Oh, am I happy to see you. It has been miserable this week. It's so nice to get out of the house back into Manhattan, put a nice little outfit on. Oh, it's literally almost the perfect autumn weather. The humidity is way down, it's sunny, it's not too warm, it's not too cold. Oh, so happy. First stop of the day, I am actually meeting a girl called Annie who I've been friends with on Twitter and Instagram for quite a while, but she recently started working for my agency. So we met at the New York Fashion Week agency party. She just seems like a lovely girl, she's from Germany and I think we both have very similar stories of how we got to New York and our journeys and stuff like that. So I am sure we'll have plenty to talk about. No prizes for guessing where we're meeting for coffee in Soho, nothing new there. But after that, I've got a shoot. Um, I'll be shooting this look a little later, so I'll bring you along to that. And yeah, see where the day goes. Last time it was came out so well. I was so happy with it. So the light we just yeah. got about got the light before it sunset. So yeah, we're gonna shoot some pictures and I'll check in with you guys later. It's finished. Ooh, one second. I need to switch up the uh, settings on this. I'm a bit zoomed in. This has been such a nice day. I uh, just finished shooting with Kelsey, literally the biggest sweetheart. She gave me a whole bag of like Irish chocolate that she brought all the way home for me. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the photos will turn out really nice. The light was really nice. Got a few errands done, went to the bank, um, picked up some stuff at H&M for Kahal because he hates online shopping, so I'm basically his personal shopper. So we'll see if he likes any of the stuff I picked later. I'm gonna make a head start on my work and get home because if I finish editing this vlog tonight, then the vlog you're watching right now, that means I'll have some of tomorrow off and I can go to a boxing class. I mean, I should have been shooting a second video for this week, but I just, I don't know, I just don't want to put up anything on my channel that my heart isn't fully in. And this week, all I wanted to work on was the vlog and getting ahead of my other work. Made it home in one piece, ate that tofu, got a smoothie, um, and came back to a bomb site. Oh my God, the apartment is a mess. As always, 20 years late to every trend because it takes me so long to decide to actually buy into a trend. Added a little vintage belt, but a lot of you guys hated this type of like cycling shorts, dad sneakers look when I gave you a little preview in my last haul, I believe. But I honestly dig the trend. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's comfortable. I do enjoy asking you guys for feedback and reading all of the feedback. Um, but at the end of the day, if you wanna wear something trendy or not, you should wear it, right? We'll see a little bit later in the vlog that I've been waiting for this all week. Um, 
I finally got a lamp for our bedroom. Oh my goodness, we've been living in darkness apart from a small little um, side table light. Moment of truth. Hey, I'm actually pretty happy with how much light that's letting off. So I'll probably play around with like the angles of these. You can like move them around a little bit but obviously it's quite a tight space. But yeah, I got this lamp off Amazon for around 80 quid and I love it. It's a bit more stylized than I would like, but there's not a lot of options online for three bulb type floor lamps. And I have to say, I'm actually pretty happy with it. It was pretty easy to put together. Also, while I'm here opening some pure packages that came, I thought I'd show you some things that arrived. Ugh, how are my mouth? Ugh. Puma package they sent over their new runners. I honestly have the freaking sickest shoe game in the trainer biz right now because I don't know Puma just keep me looking good. I don't know if you can see but they sent over the socks first of all which are like glittery and transparent at the top. I thought that was kind of cool. I think they might go really well with my dad's shoes actually. It has SG on it which means that it's the new Selena Gomez shoe and I'm pretty sure that these are the Defy model because I have the same trainer already just not in this colorway and there's like a slight glitter like in the thread like in the in-between bits there's like a little bit of glitter really really cute lovely little starter pack from Codely skincare i'm very used to using their beauty elixir i have like the mini one i used to set my makeup with it all the time um and it's just it's gorge but i've never tried any of their like rest of their skincare line. bumble and bumble my favorite hair care brand they put together this cute little christian cowan for fashion week package and look how hilarious is this they pulled an image from my instagram and put it on this little backstage pass hold in an up style so it's like a prep product there's the blow dry cream and of course the dry spun texture spray which is just kind of good for all the time really uh, just to add a bit of texture into your hair and like pull bits out yeah now that my hair is a little bit longer maybe we can start messing around with updos again you guys follow jenny mustard who is a youtuber and um, you'll know that she came out with her own coffee table book and it is absolutely stunning like I don't buy into youtuber stuff a lot but if it's a genuinely good product that stands on its own two feet then I will always always support it and yeah I ordered it off Amazon so link below because you're gonna want to you're gonna want to get it if you're into coffee table books it's basically from her travels oh should I read the title it's a Scandinavian's approach to work home and style which is a pretty good summary of what it is it's a very sort of um, aesthetically pleasing book. Oh, the imagery is just stunning and the paper quality and everything, it's all matte. Yeah, gonna love you and leave you for today. See you in the next clip. Yep, we go unboxing. I usually try and have a little bit of caffeine before this class, but ain't no time. There ain't no time for breakfast either. So, protein bear on the go. It is. Products galore. You know your girl's gonna come through and use all of your charcoal shampoo and conditioner before she leaves. <laughs> but I really like it. I just love the convenience of like not having to bring towels. I literally just have to bring a change of clothes and that's it. And um, they have like you know dry shampoo and loads of bits, deodorant and like more stuff over there as well. I literally have everything: hair bottles, tampons, <laughs> razor, even got combs. I don't know. 
know why this stuff excites me guys but it does it does two and a half years later and i just like this new york convenience even more every year so just to tidy up my face i use the glossy super bounce serum here thomas roth water drench moisturizer and conceal dior concealer some glossy brow bits and a little bit of flush on the cheeks this is puff lip balm the lighting is kind of horrendous but you know you got the picture just fresh faced glowy and um, awake leaving finally puma fit back on different leggings really like these trainers time to get back to work out of my boxing class my god if you guys are looking for a big dick energy you will feel it after coming out of those claps i'm out stripping my stuff feels good um i really recommend rumble actually like i just get so excited and so pumped in their classes and i always feel really positive and they're good for like beginners as well so oh and another thing is when you're actually doing the class it's sort of in the dark so you never feel self-conscious the music is amazing they have everything you need there i'm back on it with my trainer ross from back home as some of you know he like online coaches me and gives me plans and then after six weeks i kind of fall off with my new plan I am working out three times a week instead of four times a week because I was never hitting that fourth cardio day. So now I just work out three times a week for a little bit longer. So what I've been doing just to keep things fun for me is one of my three workouts that I have to do a week, I might just do a class instead just to keep things fun and interesting. I don't, I don't think Ross would mind. It's a good workout. Yeah, that's my fitness update. Now hopping onto the subway. See you guys back in Brooklyn for a bit of a work day. session done of the day. Spent about two and a half hours in, oh, where's it called? Toby's Estate in Williamsburg. Really nice coffee shop. Always a good meeting spot. I think you guys have seen me there a couple of times. But yeah, I did about, oh, about two hours of invoices and just boring stuff like that. Catching up after fashion week because I completely ignored my emails for about a week and a half, like completely. I brought my Amazon double walled coffee cup which was good and I uh, got 25 cent discount you know every little helps with a $16 order oh my god I cannot believe how dreary it is today but it's kind of nice I don't know it's still pretty humid that is why I'm in the t-shirt and jeans oh and I treated myself to airpods the other day I'm finally an airpod dickhead definitely not a necessity in life but kind of does make your life like 10 times better so I really don't know if I am responsible enough to own up wireless earphones yet I've dropped them and walked away from them numerous times because you just with a wire you expect it just to be hanging there it's like little accessories and stuff you can get to connect them but I don't know, just kind of loses the uh, loses the novelty then, doesn't it? Nine hours later, we out. I'm going home. Hi guys, I am showered. I had a meal like an hour or two ago and now I'm kind of like semi-dressed up, like casual bar vibe because I'm meeting Cahill in Manhattan uh, along with his work friends. We are finally going to um, a quiz night for the show The Office, which Kahala is obsessed with. I think he's watched it through like 10 times. But yeah, I'm running for the train now so that I'm not too late because let's face it, I'm always late. But you know, we don't want to be too crazy late. We don't want to miss the quiz. I'm, I'm in a competitive mood. Hopefully my good memory serves me tonight. Ticker symbol. So, like New York Stock Exchange stock ticker symbol. What is Dunder Mifflin's <laughs> course you know. stock ticker? <laughs> God, you guys, look what came. If this is what I think it is, I'm gonna be so happy. It's a Missouri package. No Claire from the Hey Claire YouTube channel has recently done her second collaboration with them. Yay, it is. 
always love their little touches and their packaging. It's like so, so nice. And um, definitely one of my absolute favorite brands for like fine jewelry and plated jewelry as well. Like their stuff is affordable. This is the right way around from her band collection. How cool. It's like a, almost looks like a cuff with a little stone stud on it. Oh my God, look how unreal. They're so shiny and like chic. I'm obsessed. You guys see they kind of wrap around the lobe a little bit and the cool thing is you can wear the little um shiny stud by itself as a separate earring so it's kind of a two styles in one shout out claire always being versatile all of them feels so nice i'm definitely going to be buying more bits from her new collection food week our hello fresh order has arrived thank god we didn't get it last week because of all the traveling and also there wasn't anything on the menu that we wanted so you're actually able to just skip a week we have ours set to come every week and if we don't fancy the menu we just hit skip on our account schedule just slot right there how satisfying we got a reorder of the chicken pineapple quesadillas i think we got this on our very first week ever and we loved it it was such um a generous portion oh my god this looks so good it's called easy peasy ravioli gratin so ribeye steaks in tomato balsamic sauce with truffled mushroom couscous now hopefully I can take the mushrooms out, I'm sure I can. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by HelloFresh in any way whatsoever, but I do have a referral link. So if you guys want to try a free week of HelloFresh, you can check out the link below. Oh, look who's home. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. No, I gotta go all the way back to the side. We're doing it. Six months later, still making trips to Ikea. I don't think. How do you feel about it, Kaha? You're probably not too pleased. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> we've been putting this off for so long. There's still a good few bits that we need. So hopefully this is the last trip to Ikea for the duration of my time in New York that is left. Where else would you be at half seven on a Monday night? <laughs> Imagine if I just like literally rolled into something, like knocked over a whole, whole stand. Of course, the one thing we came to IKEA for was not in stock. Ooh. But we got some other essentials, you know? fancy we're actually gonna have a look in the empire stores here which you will not miss if you're on the waterfront in the empire stores i think we might go and have a cheeky meal at chaconis later or sacconis i am not italian don't I, i'm sorry for butchering that people watching from brooklyn coffee roasters but this is probably the most photographic photogenic photogenic spot in all of dumbo photogenic that's just my accent though. It's just the way it rolls off my tongue. But everyone is trying to get the gram in front of the bridge. Such an iconic shot, but you have to get here early, like in the morning if you want to get like a picture with no one in it. But bless them, they try and they try and God loves a try, right? Ooh, we are in luck this weekend. Photo Bill is on, which is something that's on every now and again, like seasonally. But it's sort of an outdoor photography exhibition. It's really cool. There's loads of stalls and like container shipping things with exhibitions inside. It's very cool. It's right under the bridge. Have a look. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.